Hey everybody, Chuck's Raw Reviews. We're still doing this. I'm even a little surprised. <laughs> uh, I've been getting more and more uh, excitement over the reviews and more and more books to check out. I got several in the mail already um, and I have more digitals. Today is another digital. So because we're raw as shit and because I suck with any kind of digital stuff, we're going to do what we did last time. And we're going to play off of the computer. So, <clears throat> as you saw today, we're going to do Hellbillies. Uh, great. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. Before we move on, though, I do need to tell all of you, may the 4th be with you. I have my, uh, my Millennium Falcon. I always keep it here as part of my nerd tradition, just to remind me of my roots. And yeah, those are my roots. Um, okay, so let's jump straight the hell into Hellbillies. Uh, first off, let me show you the start here. This is, it was created by Brian Bowles and John Westhoff. It's done by King, is it? King Bone Press, yeah, okay. And, uh, there we are. This is all... I, I want to make sure everyone gets the love that they deserve. Story and letters are done by John Westhoff. Art, story, and covers is done by Brian Bowles. And then we got the interior colors by Timothy O'Brien. And a lot of the uh, watercolors were done by Brian as well. And then Brian also did all of the logos. Um, first off, right away, you're going to see it's... I don't, I don't... I'm not an art guy. Okay? So... Um, can't I can't necessarily look and say oh this art sucks or anything like, like I just I don't know how to properly explain it so please um, bear with me I would say it, it, it feels kind of rudimentary it feels the the art it feels sort of um, it's it's very cartoony and very it reminded me a lot of like old Blondie and Dagwood uh, comics and stuff like that. It's very much like a comic strip kind of thing. And we're going to look at that now. This is some of that watercolor work that I was talking about. Let's move back. All right. This is the half issue. And this is, uh, this is the, the general art style that you get. So yeah, it is very, you know, like old school newsprint kind of cartoony stuff. And right away, I've, I'm just, I'm looking at it and I'm going, I don't know if this is for me. And that was my first honest thing. But I, uh, I like, you know what? Look, I'm an indie guy too. And, um, I want someone to give what I do a fair shake. So I definitely want to do that for them. So I read and then I read and I read some more. And first off, just so you guys are aware this book, it's a collection of the entire story of Hellbillies. And it was about 390, 388 pages, something like that. There was a lot to it. But I went through all of it. And at first I was like, okay, you know, this isn't for me. Maybe I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment. It, it came off a little like hokey. And, but I was wrong. I was wrong. And, and, and I want you guys to know that. Uh, the art style is not my thing, but it's appropriate. So, to get into Hellbillies real quick, the idea is, it's to me, it's very much like a uh, uh, Supernatural meets Duck Dynasty kind of thing. And it's cool. And actually, in the very end of the book, um, John is talking and, and he, he actually addresses the fans. And he talks about the creation of the book. And he basically says, you know what? This is a book that only we could create. Um, his his partner, Brian, loves this sort of hillbilly, banjo kind of stuff. And so they took what they love and they squished it all together. And, you know, I, I love that idea. I love, um, I think, when you're writing, when you're doing that kind of stuff, do, what, do you. Do what you love and um, it will come together. And I think it did. I really do. Um... Like I said, it took me a little bit to understand it, but hopefully my um, what I had to go through in order to understand this will help you guys better to be able to track this down and enjoy it. Because 
later today, May the 4th, 2018, because I never know when you guys are going to see this, uh, the entire collection goes on Kickstarter. So I really do think you need to check it out. Um, they've offered up all sorts of freebies as far as um, getting a glimpse of it and looking into the story and stuff, and I think it, it deserves at least the look. Um, so it's 13 collected issues plus, you know, a zero issue, a half issue, a bunch of other stuff. Like, it really, there's just, you, you get everything. But the more I got into it, the more I was like, okay, you know, this happened, and then that happened, and you, you know, like, um, our, our main character, oh, I'm going to have a hard time with, uh, our main character is Eustace. Um, this is Eustace right here with this huge freaking walking crocodile, which is pretty awesome, actually. And then his cousin, uh, I believe it's Anastasio. Uh, they just call him Ann. Yeah, he has his his father, who is a curmudgeonly little piece of shit. Um, he, re he really is. He just, he's terrible. And then they have um, a friend who shows up a lot named Mary, who is a city girl, really helpful and stuff. And then it's them kind of in this bayou uh, sort of area where they're constantly getting in with cultists and strange creatures, spirit animals, all this kind of stuff. And you learn how they fight them and, and um, how they deal with them and all that kind of stuff. And the more I got into it, the more you started to see ties come together and the story start to, you know, like, oh, that thing that didn't matter mattered. Oh, now we find out about how, uh, why, why uh, dad has the stump and, and, you know, we start to see, we see glimpses of little things that show and then disappear and then later on they come back and you're like, oh, you weren't just screwing with me, that stuff's actually important. And so all of it comes back together again to be actually a really well done story. Um, really well done. I, uh, uh, yeah, man, I, I was really happy, especially with the ending. When, when it all came to the, the final climax and stuff, I was like, okay, cool. I, I actually, like, this is uh, my sort of thing. I like the long-term payoff. Um, I'm not as much of a one-shot guy. If you are, you know what, this might not be for you. But if you're someone who wants to go through a long story, a long haul, and really know that there's a payoff in the end, it's there. Sorry, um, my nose is... But it, it is absolutely there. The, the payoff is there. The, uh... Everything they're building up to... <coughs> Wah! Excuse me. Everything they're building up to totally comes together. And it's absolutely worth it. I really did enjoy it all. Very much. And knowing John and what he does... I'm sure we're going to see a great hardcover or at least softcover book of this. It's 300 and some odd pages. Almost 400. So you're definitely going to get a great collection and a lot of bang for your buck. These guys do a lot of other work. I, I don't know a lot about their other work. All I know is this. And as much as I at first didn't want to like this, I liked it. It was really good. And I, I really do. I want you guys to check it out. I'll look into it. It's just really stupid hillbillies doing stupid hillbilly stuff while saving the world and um, and protecting us from evil. And uh, it really was just a lot of fun. And every time you thought, oh, they put in something that they can't explain, it got explained. And and uh, I really uh, kudos to John. He he really pulled it off. Um, I really am I'm impressed a lot. Uh, that's the kind of storytelling that I enjoy, and that's what he did. I, I really don't have a lot else to tell you guys. I think that it at least deserves your look. I checked into it, and I think you need to do the same. So go out. Check out Hell, Hellbillies. If you can't check it on King Bone Press's website, then go check it on Kickstarter. You know, do one or the other. And just give them the shot, because it deserves it. It really was a fun story, but it had its own intelligence, too. And I think that's that's just a hillbilly thing. They come off stupid, but they're not. And uh, that that is what I got out of this. So, 
I, I think everything the, from the art style and how they told the story and everything, it was all incredibly appropriate and well done. So, team, way to go. Fans, check it out. And as always, peace, love, and comics.